Alright, I'm currently using this rabbit ear antenna from RCA hooked up to my HD TV for HD. It works, but some of the channels are a little bit uh, a little bit squiggly. They cut in and out, and some channels I can't get at all sometimes. So I have got myself one of these. From Antennas Direct. It is the Clearstream 2 long range HD TV antenna. It claims that it'll pull in signals from 50 miles. I bought another one yesterday and it didn't do much better than the, the rabbit ears that I have now. The rabbit ears get the Lakers channel, which is very important, uh, but they don't get the football channels, which is also very important. So the, I switched to another like $50 HD TV antenna and that one would get the football channels but it wouldn't get the Lakers so I think the problem is that the antenna is too deep in the house to get a signal even though I have it by a window I'm gonna try this boosted antenna and see if it makes any difference the big antenna that ran about $105 at Best Buy you can find it cheaper elsewhere I don't recommend Best Buy I just happen to have some gift cards Alright, there's the new antenna. Looks like a piece of art. Definitely a wonderful conversation piece for my home. Problem is, that's channel 7. Coming in pixelated, jumpy, jumpy, and then no signal. So, what I've learned is it doesn't matter how close I am to the window or what kind of fancy pants antenna I have, we've got to get the antenna out where the signal is. Now, uh, I'll show you a picture here of what my dad has. My dad has just a regular old coat rack antenna like he used to use in the 70s on the outside of his house. I'll put a picture in here. When both of my brothers have run wires up into the ceiling and put antennas in the attic. So they don't actually have to go on the outside of their house to install an antenna. They just put the antenna in the attic and that works well for them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet, but we'll see in a minute. All right, how do we get up to the roof? Again, I don't recommend going to Best Buy, but uh, I went to Fry's and got this 100 foot coaxial cable for $16.99. I also know that they have this at Home Depot, so if you don't have a Fry's Electronics near you, the Home Depot is a good place to go to get really long cheap cable and this one has the ends on it you can see I, I don't have to go splicing ends on it or anything so 100 feet should get me up into the attic and out wherever I need to be in order to have good reception before I try putting the antenna on the roof I'm going to try running the antenna cable through the house to the other side of the room I've already got internet cable running over the doorway here so I figure if I can just group it up with the internet cable and send it to the other room then uh, it's possible the signal on the other side of the house is better. I know on this side of the house there aren't any stations broadcasting. All the, radio, the TV stations are on the other side of the house. So on your TV where you need to plug in is the spot that says antenna. Come on focus, focus, focus I don't know if you watched my video camera review, this one has trouble focusing in the dark. But there's all these different connectors, and at the end there's RFN antenna. That's where the antenna goes. Wow! Moving the antenna to the other side of the house here, to the middle of the foosball table, near the window, adjacent to the trampoline. I find that I get perfect reception on a whole bunch of channels. I'm even getting channels I didn't know I had. There's Armenian channels and Chinese channels and Korean channels and uh, channels in between the channels and so it is great. The problem is now that there's an antenna on my foosball table so what I'm going to do is, is um, the cable company from years ago made a hole right there which I've plugged with toilet paper because I thought we might use it again someday. Uh, we're, we're just going to run this antenna up into the attic and see if it'll just work in the attic. That way I don't have to drill holes in my roof. I don't have to worry about it uh, being weatherproofed or being bolted onto the side of the house or anything like that. So that's the next trick.
All right, let's go up into the attic, see what I've done. So I've brought the cable up through the roof and attached it to the antenna right here. Now I went and tried all my channels and I get everything perfectly clear. Uh, when the signal was weak, sometimes the voice, you'd hear a person's voice, but it wouldn't match the way their lips were moving, but the, the picture was still clear. So that's all gone now and uh, everything works fine. So I'm just going to leave this antenna up here in the attic. It doesn't require any external power sources, which is good. My old rabbit ears had an amplifier on it, and I didn't want to have to run power into the attic. So we're just going to leave this sitting up here. My brothers do, this, do it this way, and that way I don't have to worry about punching a hole in my roof or mounting it or anything else. Uh, when you do put it in the attic, you want to be aware, that, aware of things like the hot pipe from the uh, heater, um, you, want, you don't want to go rolling around in the uh, fiberglass insulation because it'll make you itchy. If you've had any fumigation done, I know we did termite fumigation up here at, at some point, you don't want to get covered with poison. I'm going to go ahead and take a shower after I get done with this. Now if I had wanted to put it on the roof, I would just run a cable. You can see somebody ran an old antenna cable just up out the roof vent and then you mount it on the outside of the roof. We've got chicken wire there to keep the varmints out. But uh, I'm happy with it in the attic. I'm getting all my channels. Don't have to worry about it blowing off the house or falling down in a rainstorm. So we are done. Now ordinarily, I would show you, let's see, who, who makes this again? Uh, Antennas Direct makes this one. I, I suspect you could have just about any kind of generic antenna and it would work the same way. But this one supposedly has uh, magical technology built into it that's superior to everything else on Earth. So. I'm just going to leave it up here and believe it and, and enjoy football, basketball, and everything else in HT. Now normally I would show you the TV and flip through all the channels so you can see how clear it is, but YouTube is pretty strict about uh, copyright violations and I don't want to break their rules, so I'm not going to do that at the end of this video.